Okay, so what I'm going to do is install React along with the template for TypeScript and style component. So if I paste in my code, so I've got npx create React app and the name of the app, which is dog app dash yt dash dash template of TypeScript. So if I press enter, this will then install all of the dependencies required and it sets up TypeScript for me as well. So now that's installed, I'm just going to cd into the dog app. So cd dog app dash yt. And then if I just open the folder and you can see the files here on the left now. So I'm just going to open a new terminal now and I'm just going to run npm start. And as you can see, we have the normal React boilerplate when we create React app. So I'm just going to do a few things. So first off, I'm going to check my node version. So all you do to check that is node space dash V. So I'm currently on node version 14.19. If you wanted to change your node version, there's a package called MNVM where you can change the versions. So if you wanted to use another one, you would type NVM use and then the version number. If you don't have the version number, then you can install it with NVM install. So instead of NPM, I'm going to change my package lock. So I'm going to delete it and I'm going to use yarn. So I've deleted the package lock.json and instead type in yarn and press enter. So what this will do is it will create a yarn lock file for me. If you don't have yarn installed globally on your machine, you will first need to do that as well. I also want to add in style components. So yarn add style components like so. And if I press enter, and because we are using styled components, we also want to import the types. So that is yarn add as a dev dependency at type style components and press enter. So now if I go into my index.tsx file, in here we need to wrap the app in the theme provider. But before we do that, I'm going to create a folder structure in my source folder. So in here, I'm going to add a few folders. The first folder is the components folder where my components will lie. I'm also going to create a lib folder. So this will handle all of the external libraries that I install into the application. I'm going to have a styles folder where I'm going to have the main styles for the application here. And finally, I'm going to have a folder for all of my TypeScript types. So in my root render, what I'm going to do is import the global style from style components. And I am also going to wrap the theme provider around my app. So theme provider from styled components, which takes in a theme, which is equal to theme, which we will declare in our lib folder there. And then the app is going to move within the theme provider. I am also going to import the global style in my theme file in the lib directory. So in lib, I'm going to create a new file named theme.ts. And what I'm going to do is bring in what I already have in here. We have some fonts which we will import later on. So I'll just comment them out for now. So essentially we are importing create global style from style components. And then as you can see here, we are exporting the global style in here. We have a couple of fonts that we are declaring, which we will again look at later on in the video. Here are the body styles with Poppins regular as the main font family and Poppins bold for any H1 tags. We also have a theme with colors on there. So we will be able to access the theme colors via props. So now if I save and then I need to go back into my index.tsx and import in the global style and also the theme from the lib.theme as well. So now I'm getting the following error for the font. So if I just uncomment this out and then also uncomment this out and we have font files that I need to pass in and import. So within my styles, I'm going to create a new folder and name this font. And within font, I'm going to drag in my font. So I'll just drag them in here and these will be in the description also. As you can see, there's two files here and they are both OTF files. So we can see here TypeScript is raising an error. So the error says cannot find module or its corresponding type declarations. So what I need to do is in the package JSON level, create a new file and this will be named font.t.ts. And in here, all we need to do is declare the module as OTF. So any font files that we have, 
we're going to use the OTF files for them. So now if I save, what I also want to do is move the font DTS file within my styles in the same folder as the poppins. So now if I restart my server and now you can see the poppins font is now loading. So now all we need to do is remove this boilerplate code. So if we go into the app now and now I want to remove everything within the header and I also want to remove the div class name app and I want to now create a container. This will be a global container. So the whole app will use this container. So what I need to do is create a style.ts file within the styles folder. So going back into here and create a new file called styled.ts. And in here, I'm going to bring in some styles. So first off, we're going to import a style from style components. And the container that we are bringing in for is the style.main. It has a display of flex, a line item center, a flex direction of column, justify content of center, a margin auto, which means left and right, it will have equal spacing on both sides, a margin of bottom so it doesn't touch the bottom of the page, and a background color of the props.theme, that background, which is declared in the lib folder here. So now if I go back into my index.tsx into my app, what I want to do is import the container from the styles folder like so. So now if I save all, the React boilerplate has gone and now we have the container set. I'm now going to render a h1 saying dog app. And as you can see, the styles from the theme.ts are now pulling through. So I am getting an error, which is import logo. We don't need that, so I'll just delete it. And I will also delete the corresponding file. So now if I save, that error has now gone. We would also need to update the tests, but I'll leave them until the end of the video. So the first child, what I want to do for the container is instead of a H1, I'm going to paste in the description that I had at the start of the video. And then the description style is going to be also imported from the style.ts in the styles folder. And then there is one more container created in here, which is the app body. So that's where everything will fit in. So if I go back into my app.tsx, I then want to render the app body as well. And for now, I'll just put in a p tag named dog form. So now if I save all, we now have the description rendering and the app body rendering. What I am now going to do is create the header component.